Hello everybody, we are back with episode 3 of our RimWorld Let's Play. I'm too excited to just leave this game as it is right now, and I'm excited to keep uh, pushing our colony, so I figured I'd jump back on and make another video, and we'll keep this Let's Play train going. So yeah, we're gonna start, we're gonna resume back from where we picked off on episode 2. On this episode, we're really gonna try to focus on getting some construction up to get uh, solar panels, or potentially build uh, another wind turbine. So we need more power. I need to uh, start designating power to these. We're gonna try to get some more steel. Ooh, we have lots of steel. So we can do whatever we want then. So I think what we're gonna do right now is for production. Uh, we already have the machining table and the high-tech research bench. Um, one thing I'm thinking about doing is just making a hand tailor bench. But the problem is, is we don't have any materials to make anything. So I think that would be kind of a waste right now. We definitely need to purchase some of those. Uh, since we're not growing any, cl any cloth ourselves, we're kind of focusing on just food right now. Which, speaking of which, I do want to make, even though it's not going to be on fertile soil, uh, I do want to make another patch. Uh, probably just a small, maybe 5x5. Five five. Patch of potatoes. You don't need great soil for potatoes. And I think it'll be a really good thing for us. I was noticing this in the last episode. I kind of want to haul some of these rocks away. I don't want all these by our uh, little base over here. Just haul them away. Easy as that. I don't think that's being blocked by anything. You could always build another one. That's something that we could definitely... Ooh, we only have three components, so... Let's find some component resource. And we'll mine that away. Right there. Because we that's something we definitely need to keep up on. Is steel and components. Because pretty soon, once we get the power capabilities, we gotta build some uh turrets in these open areas. So we got a bulk goods trader. This is very good. Uh just what I was talking about earlier, we might need these guys. How many does that drop to? So Lucy is mining right now. We'll wait for her to finish that and then we'll come and talk to these people. All right. So she's gonna have to trade with Ada. Perfect, so what do we wanna sell? Definitely get rid of this deer hide. We do not need that. We could sell some steel, but that's something we're gonna need a lot of coming up here. We actually might buy some steel. Steel hospital bed that could actually be huge. We might think about that. We do not have the technology for that, but that could be really big. None of this clothing looks appealing. We don't need any meat. We can always get meat ourselves. No Nutramine, no Chem Fuel. Could always buy... We could always buy maybe 10 components. And we could buy some cloth. That's something we could definitely do to make into some outerwear for our tattered apparel. Hmm. Trying to think about that. I think we'll just grow some. In steel, we have plenty of it around, but I think we'll just buy some components. We'll sell our deer hide, and that'll be plenty for right now. That means we can cancel this order. Uh, we need to pick a research topic. I forgot about that. None of these I'm too interested in getting. I don't know what you guys do, but personally, I don't think drug production is worth going into at all. Um, maybe penicycling. I know some people use that. Uh, we don't need recurve bows, refining, gas operation. Hmm. The precision rifling can get us. That could be huge. We don't really need survival meals. Trans hospital beds is something we could study. Maybe geo. Maybe we just shoot for geothermal. And we just skip the solar phase. That is something we could definitely do. That would make this 
process a whole lot easier. The multi-analyzer is very good. Trying to pick what I really want to... I think the multi-analyzer might be where it's at. But I think first... Gosh, this is such a hard decision. Probably go for geothermal. I think we just skip the whole solar panel phase altogether. Maybe we build another one of these right next to it. I think that's something we got to do. Just for the time being, we can always deconstruct it. Cut these plants out of the way. I don't know if that one will be in the alone, but we'll cut it down anyways. I think it's just important we get this another source of power up so Lucy can work on this. We can also have someone assigned to research. Once uh, once she finishes that gun, then I'm going to start putting her on uh, duty to research. We're actually going to make Mikey a three on here. Let me make her a three as well. They both have the similar passion for it. They're both at about the same point, so. Oh, we got a raid while we have visitors? Tribes people. Three people. Got a normal short bow, a steel knife, and another steel knife. This person is not very good at shooting. I don't think this is too much concern. I think we can handle this very well. These people might even help us unless they leave. So it looks like they're going to wait around a while before attacking us, so that is not something I am too worried about. These are all connected up, which is super nice. It's giving us some good power output. I don't think anything is in the way over here. Oh, they're leaving just in time, aren't you? Are you going to go that way, though? Uh-oh. Oh, these people are here. Oh, this is so bad. keep kiting them okay and now they're fleeing and we're actually gonna make both of these people attack I don't think we could always just sell this stuff to a combat supplier later don't believe they have any like gear on them we could take just keep shooting at them train up our shooting skill a little bit Whatever. These guys can get back to work. These people haul. Now, how much... Oh, they observe so many rotting corpses. This is something where you need... Crematoriums can be really nice. So you don't have that huge debuff for a little while. I think that's in, yeah, after electric smelting. We'll see if somebody starts doing research. I don't know what Mikey is doing right now. Where are you? Oh, he's sleeping. I'm silly. Let's see how this gun is coming. This should be a huge upgrade from uh, the current pistol she is using. I believe she's actually not bad at crafting. Yeah, she's actually competent. So I'm guessing it'll be a normal, hopefully a normal, maybe a poor bolt action rifle. We might get lucky. Minor breaklet risk. That's Mikey. Well, once blue is done, she'll get everything all nice and cleaned up for the day. Got those knives in there. 
as well go haul this. It's just free money at this point. We have so much space down there. All right, so let's see how good it is. It's a shoddy one. Uh, well, that's unfortunate, but it's better if you look at the stats. I mean, so much better than this. Like, for example, medium range, 28%, but it only has a 22 range. This is a 37 range and 77% chance. So it does make it nicer. I want them to be as damaged as possible by the time they get to Lucy with the spear. All right. So we're starting to get a little more food. Mikey needs to definitely focus on some planting right now. Lucy is researching. Let's see how fast that's going up. That's going up greatly fast. That is perfect. Greatly fast. I don't think that's a way to say that. But we're going to go with it anyways. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put that geothermal plant right here. We're going to get some more... Uh, going to get some more iron. Or steel, I mean. Gosh, I keep saying iron. This is so bad. Keep getting some steel. Uh, so we have enough and then get some components so we have enough to build that plant and once we build that plant We won't have an issue with power especially since we're gonna want to be building some turrets probably one turret here to start off with a turret here And a turret here Just so any if we get approached from any direction We are covered and we have a little extra firepower with us Everybody's getting a good rest in. I'm making sure that this is connected. It is. That is awesome. That's giving us so much more power. Delete the bill. We don't need anything else, I believe. Ah, there's nothing we really need here. This is something I am going to put on forever once we get to mechanoids later. Another thing we can do, who's idle? Blue is idle, so she's just kind of cleaning. She's just kind of cleaning and doing her thing because um, the cooking is all done. So one thing I am going to have her do is I'm going to draft her and we're going to go get some meat for the freezer. Might as well. She can come back and clean a little more afterwards, but she got the whole place nice. Yeah, so we might go down here and take out some deer or a turkey. And we'll fire at this turkey. Oh, that was a bad shot, Blue. Come on. Oh, Lord. There we go. There's a hit. Got its right leg. Plus, this will train up her shooting a little bit. I think she hit him again. Uh-oh. Don't want it to start hitting the deer. Ah, yep, we hit a deer. I just don't want them to mass and rage. Perfect. So it's all set. Should haul that turkey back. This deer is probably going to bleed out. I don't imagine it would heal from that. That's looked like a pretty good shot. Yeah. So she'll put the meat in here. Perfect. And that is frozen and will never spoil. And then I'm actually going to draft her, bring her back out here. We're going to go take care of that deer that we hit right here. Perfect. And we got away with that. And that should be a nice little addition. A nice thing about hunting too is you also get these hides. You get these turkey hides and deer hides and you can sell those to bulk traders for a little bit. You can get a couple components out of them. Buy something valuable with it and then they'll use the meat which is really nice. So 
So yeah, I believe it uses 10 of these meat and then 10 rice to make a meal. One meal is 10 rice. Later on, once Blue gets better at cooking, I don't know where her cooking is. It's not bad, but it'll get higher and we can start making some fine meals and some lavish meals and that'll really give a huge boost to happiness. I wish there was a way to get rid of these easier, but I don't, I don't really know any good ways. We should have a huge influx of food for the freezer. I'm really looking forward to that. These things are going full piping. 3,000 watts. Wow, that's a lot. They can really do a lot when they're full. I never really use wind turbines. Not my favorite thing to do, but they do pretty well. We actually might need not need that geothermal. We could almost abandon that and just go for something else right now, but might as well finish it. While we're at it, too, we'll focus on getting some more. Keep hoarding that steel. That should be a ton of steel right there. Make sure we stay on top of that. Get some of these components. Yeah, in my opinion, it's very important to stay on top of steel because once you start building geothermal plants, you start building more guns. It starts adding up very quickly. We do not want to run out. Nice, we're still relying on that meat until our next harvest. Another raid? Gosh, we just keep getting raided. Got a knife, a bow, and another knight and a short bow. Wait, so two short bows? Yeah. That's a little scarier. Okay, we gotta get everybody. Get Lucy out of there. Okay, so let's think of a good... We're going to start wanting to clear a lot of this out. Uh, just because they can take cover in here. Makes them harder to hit. So maybe we'll put Mikey right here. Put Blue right here. We'll keep Lucy right here for now. So Blue should start shooting... Yeah, right away here. Maybe we get a lucky hit. I'm just crossing my fingers. Okay, we're doing some damage to this beaver guy. Oh, perfect shot. Okay, so now the goal is going to be to hit this target. Uh-oh, what's going on? Why can't I? Okay, she's going to attack. We're still out of range with Mikey here. Now we can hit him. Maybe get them to focus. Oh, nice shot. Oh, that is awesome. Where did she hit her? Oh, perfect. Oh, not so perfect. It's a right big toe. <laughs> but we got a hit with the charge rifle and we got more going at her. No damage yet. That one was close to blue. Still getting some damage off. They're fleeing. Okay, perfect. Believe it. Okay, perfect. Everybody is fine. Phew. Actually, this person is still alive. We're gonna go down here. Shoot. Make these people unforbid all these people. And just finish her off. And they'll carry all that back. Gosh, we have so many bodies. I didn't realize how, how often the raids are on this difficulty. Really catching me off guard. So I am actually going to forbid my dog from going in to the freezer. So he can eat everything outside. I don't want him eating what we have in the freezer. Instead, he can just browse out here and do what he needs to do. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Yeah, we're going to need to get to crematorium pretty fast. Plop it probably right here. And because when they go over there, they're seeing I don't know how many bodies. OK, so she is getting this debuff now. Yeah, they're all getting observed corpse and that's not good. So she's greedy for the impressive bedroom. So I think we're going to give Lucy this bedroom because I think it just needs to be better. And then we're going to build a few more copies. Hopefully this will solve it. Like maybe that'll just solve it for the time being. And then blue, we got to completely change her schedule. So we're going to go to restrict we're gonna make it's blue so I think she's got to work from six seven eight so right now they're up two four six eight hours so I'm just gonna do this real quick and just joy nope three four five six seven eight oh wait so this is so I think the difference is is that we just make all of this so that's two, four, six, eight, and this is two, four, six, eight. Okay. I'm trying to think about how to divvy this up correctly. So I think instead you're gonna sleep one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then everything else is anything. I think you just sleep here instead and I think that fixes it still get eight hours of sleep uh oh who are these people I am confused did I miss it are just some people visiting or do they have things to trade as well Oh, I think they were just passing through. Yeah, they're just passing through. There's no biggie. Give a little wave to them. Waiting for this research. We gotta start making that one of her biggest priorities. I'm thinking we start making it Mikey's a higher priority. Leave the burden on them. And then I think his top priority other than construct. Construct and then. Yeah. This won't be a thing he'll do. Or actually, yeah. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I think we just make that one. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So now he's going to focus on doing research. So, interesting. I remember that pop-up. So we do have these slate blocks. I think that is slate. Yeah, we do have this slate where we can start walling off some things, but that can be defensive in the future. Got a good amount of resources. Lucy's really bringing home the steel. Now Mikey's researching. Nice. You actually kind of want to get it to one person researching, so I think I'm going to totally kick Lucy off of it. Can Lucy grow? Lucy can grow much better than me. So Lucy, now you're the grower. Yeah, I'm going to leave the uh, research to Mikey exclusively, and that'll be like his only his only thing other than constructing that he has to worry about. That should be good. All right, once Blue is done cooking, I think we're going to take her and do some more hunting. So my drafter and send her over here. Nice shot. We'll have to look at that one. Heart shot. Perfect. All right, Blue, go and carry that buck back. Chop it up. It's 
some extra food. That's an extra seven meals there, approximately. So it just curbs the rice need until all of this starts cashing out. We should have several hundred, maybe three, four hundred food total once all this is done. If it rains, which we haven't been getting any rain, which is interesting, but if it rains, that'll wash all this blood away and we can maybe go take care of some boomalopes so when we kill them, fire doesn't spread. And I'll take them off the map and replace them with other animals that are more beneficial than boomalopes. Don't want too many boomalopes running around. I'm gonna draft you out here. Go shoot this uh, turkey. We actually might try to befriend that wild boar. We'll let her eat that and then she can haul that back. So I believe we have someone who's good with animals. Yeah, so I'm decent with animals. So at some point, how much better though? No, Lucy, Lucy's a two. Yeah, four would be much better to get the ball rolling. Looks like blue is gonna be up. She's idle. You'd have her go kill another animal. Go get this turtle. Just practice her shooting up. As you can see, each time she shoots, it goes up a little bit. And she doesn't need to rest anytime soon, so... Yeah, so she's much better. Perfect. Now she can haul that back and then she'll probably go to bed, I'm assuming. Yeah, her rest is pretty low. So she'll throw that in the freezer. And then she'll go to bed and we'll be all set for her. Then these two will get up during the day. It works out perfectly. Yeah, I want Mikey to eat and go right here. Perfect. That's how, once you start getting these, and then once we get the multi-analyzer, that'll make things go so much quicker. But you can see this starts just getting trained like mad. But once we get this up to 14, 15, then they really start churning out some efficient research. It's just that first little bit. We're lucky that we got people with this high of intellectual. If you start with people with two or three intellectual and no passion, it can take a long time, especially with just a simple research bench to go up. So I think we're gonna have the steel for the plant, and I believe we have the components as well. We could always mine these. I actually do think I want her off handling, or Mikey off handling, and back to Lucy, because she does have a passion for it. It'll be a little struggle at first, but. The nice thing about animals is you can release them, and if they die or get damaged, they're kind of, at least they're meat shields for your colonists, because if your animals die, they can always make more. They'll breed. But if your people die, that's a little more of a issue. So yeah, we haven't had a fourth colonist visit. It would have to be pretty good to take them at this point. I'm happy with the three. We kind of got all the work that can be done, and who's gonna haul that rice in. Actually, we should Wondering if we should just make a door here. I think so. Because then they can bring it right in. Nobody else can construct, though. Oh, yikes. Come on. Does someone have anything? I'll just make her. Okay, Lucy, prioritize that. Visitors. Gosh, we're getting so many visitors. No, finish this. Why did you stop? This way that they can just, especially from this northern planting area, they can just go whoop, right in to the freezer. Oh, they do have some, uh... So we'll let Lucy sleep, and then when she wakes up, we can go and trade with these visitors. I doubt they have anything huge that we need, but... Gosh, I wish you could lock these doors so they don't disturb sleep. And I wish they could have some sort of 
caravan thing where they could just stay out here. Instead, they go and make a mess in your home. They really need to fix that. I, in like beta 19, that would be really nice if we could designate a spot and move it to where the caravans just naturally go. Because this is a pain. I don't think this is good. They just interrupt everything, make a mess, wake people up. It's frustrating. Blue is still idle. Is she going to bed anytime soon? Yeah, but we can get her on one trip out to maybe get some meat. Go look around. I think we just go take another deer. Oh, they're leaving. Lucy, go talk to them, hurry. Yes, we can sell them this stuff just to get it out of our inventory. We're good on components. They sell it for a lot, too. Oh gosh, we're missing everything. <laughs> well, we're gonna have a lot of venison. <laughs> a lot of deer meat. This one's hurt, too. This one's bleeding out. I don't know how many I ex- Oh, and this one's bleeding out. Oh gosh, we're just decimating the herd. Okay, good, blue's sleeping. Mikey's back on that research grind. Oh, nice, look how fast that's going up. If he can just park it there all day, that is what I want. And then when blue wakes up, We'll send her down. I do need to make some beds. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna build them now. Guess I could just build them out here. Yeah, go make that. And then we, so we can replace these bad beds. And then he should go right back to research, I think, yep. So blue is back up. Okay, so wait. I don't... So I need to push her even more. I need to change her schedule even more. I think that's better. Look at all this rice. Oh, that is great. Now, one thing we can do is we can throw everyone on haul for a little bit, except Mikey. We'll keep Mikey off haul. But it just gets that rice in into our freezer as fast as possible. I do want Blue to haul this, though. There's another. Geothermal power. Awesome. I think from here, I do need to get to that cremation. I know it's... It's a little dark, but that's something I just don't want that constant negative. Actually, no, more importantly, multi-analyzer. We gotta get that finished. Put it right next to our thing right here. It's just something we're gonna have to bite the bullet and do. Gosh, we have so many bleeding deer. <laughs> okay, Lucy, you're going to bed. Blue won't be going to bed though. She's butchering. She's gonna grab that deer. Gosh, there's so much blood. Which one is injured over here? I don't see any. None of them have the blue Z's. Just this one. Escape pod. Let's take a look. So it's Perez. Let's look at the health. This is all stuff we can... A cracked spine. Ouch. I think we could heal him back to full health. Oh, wow. He is not appealing. He doesn't do <laughs> anything. He's incapable of so much, and he's depressive. And he's just bleh. He doesn't offer anything. Yeah, I'm sorry, Perez, but you are not someone that we want a part of our group. 
That's a little dark, but that's the way it is. So we'll let her finish grabbing all that rice. And then she'll eat. And then I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna draft her. Bring her over here, take care of this last deer. And then we should be good for a while. That just gives us a little extra buffer of food. 14, 200, 250. Let's say we get around 30 meals from all the meat we just got from these animals. And then we might start trying to recruit that boar. I don't think I killed the boar, did I? Yeah, I don't think I did. He should still be up here. Yeah, there he is. Or she. It's a he. Lucy has two. Well, no, you have, he has four. Hmm, is it worth? I think even just having one, just, oh, and there's a female. Yeah, if we tamed these two. I just think that that's... Ugh, I just don't want him to leave research to go do that, though. She can't do it. Lucy can't do it. That's a bummer. I really think that would be valuable. Get a couple boar- or get a little boar pen going, and then you can just release the boars on enemies. I'm trying to decide if that's more worth it, losing out on a day's work. All right, well, oh no. Muscle parasites, so Blue and Lucy, ugh. Gosh, that is not good. So Mikey, tend to Blue. We're gonna have to use Glitter World Medicine because we have nothing else. Oh, only 22% on Lucy? That's annoying. Now, I think, yeah, Muscle Parasites is just, a. Uh, yeah, it just makes them tired. It doesn't have, like, an immunity. It's not a disease. That is unfortunate, but we can handle that. Got our food stores going up. I like seeing that. Got a bunch more out here. Another thing we can do now is probably uh, start deleting some of this zone up here. Like, that much. Bring it back down to a small size. Perfect. These people really need to get to Holland. Oh, what is Lucy doing? I can see we're going to need to uh, get a little hospital going here. Lucy, this is your room. Go sleep. Go sleep, Lucy. I totally forgot I made these. This is an awful bed. Just gonna deconstruct all these. Can't believe I didn't notice that before. Actually, we might just delete this zone down here. Uh-oh. What did I just do? Oh, I just made this smaller, that's fine. And then we could always just instead have it grow up here, like I was talking about. Okay, perfect, that should be plenty of food for the colony. We don't wanna start getting too much. So what is she doing? Moderate amount of pain, oh, from the muscle parasites, I feel it. If I put a four on construct, can you construct? I oh, should just cook, okay. Yeah, I'll just put it on their last thing to do if they have nothing else. She can go haul this wood back. That would for sure be helpful. I don't know why she left that little bit up there. That's frustrating. 
Okay, well, we're getting close to the multi-analyzer. Uh, I don't think we're going to have the stuff to build it. We're going to need plasteel, if I remember correctly. We're doing good on power. These are almost full, so these two are getting us through with everything turned on. Could always put another light in here. Nice. That lit up. Blue, what are you doing? Deconstruct that and go sleep in your own bed. Yikes. Okay, we're going to need to make a hospital. There's no way of getting around that. Guess I could put a little one up here. Put a door right here. We'll floor it. Make it nice. Actually, we'll put one here. Here. And put one here for now. Build three beds. I don't think there's anything I can do to make them better medical beds right now. But this should just cost a little bit of wood. It's something that we need to do. Make sure it's in the home area. Yep, so she'll clean that. Get this nice and built. As our construction gets better, our beds will get better. And we'll make these medical. And then Mikey can go heal them up. That sounds like a good plan to me. We might actually build a comms council and get a orbital tray beacon up. That could be something that would be really good. We'll probably just have to put one down, like maybe right here. That would cover our whole stockpile of goodies. And we can trade with people. That's something that I should queue up right away. We have all the steel in the world for it. Oh, I totally forgot. We had geothermal. Boop. That's going to go right there. And then the multi analyzer's done. This is going to go right up to there. And this is just going to feed into the system. Perfect. That'll be a huge benefit. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for the cough. I think we gotta go on misc. Yeah, we need 50 plasteel. And eight construction. Ugh, oh, guys. We are getting killed. We're just gonna have to chop a bunch of wood and just spam construction somehow. I, th I think that's what we're gonna have to bite the bullet and do. I'll look into that a little more for the next episode and see exactly what we gotta do there, but yikes. We'll do that, we'll build a little roof over it. And then a little orbital trade beacon. Yeah, we'll build it. Right there will be perfect. Oh, and then this is going to have to be connected to power. So power-wise, we'll take a power conduit. And straight there. Nice. Need a research project. Oh yeah, we finished. Uh, I think next, like I said earlier, we could finish gas, or what did we start with? Nope, we didn't take it off it. Okay, good. Hospital bed could be really good. Hmm. But we also are going to have to deal with, we might want to just rush precision rifling. Man, they really made it in this beta where you can't skip anything. You kind of have to get everything. I think we're gonna take, I think we're just gonna get to gas operation. Uh, yeah, we gotta get to precision rifling real quick here. And then, you know, get to a sniper rifle or something. That could be a huge advantage. Ooh, this is also gonna need power, so. We'll do that. Perfect, and that should connect to everything. Once we get this built. Oh, we're going to need like crazy high for this, aren't we? Construction skill eight. Hmm. 
well, that is a huge bummer. I think we're just gonna run the power conduit down through here. Yeah, that's a huge bummer. We can't, uh, this has to get canceled and all these have to be deconstructed. Uh, man, I keep forgetting that. I keep getting, you know, I'm so used to not having to worry about that. Now, this is not getting power, it's saying. Oh. Badoi. So once that gets connected up, we should be good. These are still kicking butt on their own, so I can't complain too much. Colonist needs treatment. A little hospital is done up here. Already doctoring blue. Heat wave too. Oh gosh. That is not good. I could build some vents and I could uh We'll see how hot it gets first. I think we're gonna go one more day and then end the episode here. We'll go on to episode four. Nothing too exciting if I could really get some of this stuff built up. We did have three or four raids, as you can see by our pile of fallen people. Ooh, a combat supplier. Nice. We are gonna wake Lucy up. We're gonna say hi. We wanna buy stuff. We're gonna sell all this crap that we're not using. Gives us a little money. Look at what they have. All these power helmets. An LMG normal for only 500 bucks? Huh. What's the accuracy like? Not too accurate, but that could be a huge upgrade from the bolt. Not a high range, though. Do need someone with a high range right now. I think we're just going to take the 18 and call it good. They'll shoot that down to us. Nice. Got this ostrich here. Can we tame that? Level 8? Oh, gosh. All right, Blue, you're gonna go out and shoot this thing. Nice. Tough, that was a tough ostrich. All right, Blue, I want you to haul that. She's cooking. I think it's gonna get so hot. This is not gonna be frozen anymore. We gotta click this down. Oh, please tell me I don't have to put another one in here. You know what, it is, it's not getting down too cold. So that is technically refrigerated. Gosh, it's so hot in here though. I think we're gonna need to, um, Man, Lucy is really struggling. She's very hot. Slept in the heat. Okay, th then we need to bite the bullet. We need to do this. We need to build a copy. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a unit in here into the main room. That's going to cool it. And then I need to uh, put vents in. I don't care if this is hot. This should not be vented. I don't care if this is hot. They'll just be in there for a short period of time. Yeah, because people are going to get unhappy. Well, now that they're all sleeping and we got some things queued up, I think we made good progress this episode. We got large growing. We got some good food in the coffers. Got some good money going, some good resources. We're coming along, we just gotta get our research going even faster and we really need uh, 
Well, right now we don't need the power, but when you start building turrets, they require a lot of power. So we need to get our construction skill up. So I think I'm going to spam some constructing and continue to get colonists and see what we can do. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, leave your feedback down below and let me know how I'm doing. All right, have a good one.